Hey everybody, this is Jaded, and this is my new calculator build. It does everything my last calculator did, except it's one-fifth in size. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this thing working. Uh, let's go ahead and add a couple numbers. Uh, how about nine? Nine plus... Five, let's say. So that should be 14, and there is a 14. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more number, so let's, or two more numbers. So there's zero, zero. Um, let's add seven and eight. So there's a seven, let's go ahead and add our eight. That should be 15. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to do a short rundown of how this thing works. So as you can see, there is a 1 through 9 input. And each one of those inputs correlates to one of these pistons, this being 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9 here. And what this entire thing right here does is it encodes our 1 through 9 into binary, which is 1s and zeros. Then it takes that signal from down here and it puts it all the way up here. And what this mechanism does to our output is it saves it and it toggles which ones are available. So we currently have a number in there, so I can go ahead and clear it. Um, so as you can see, half of the inputs are on. That means it's blocking a signal from coming through. So if this signal went through, because Oops. Because this is getting powered, even if this torch went off, it wouldn't affect this torch. So it means it's permanently off and that output cannot be used. So this, basically what these represent are, this is one number that we can input, and right here, every other is our second number. And when we hit add, those two numbers switch and we have our second output. Then that number comes up here, well, actually there's this thing down here, and what this is is the clear button. The clear button just clears any outputs we currently have and restores it back to zero, zero. Then these just bring the signal up to the adders, and there are five adders. There's one here, one here, one here, one here, and then it just carries up to here. And here are our possible outputs. If the output is off, that means it's actually on. So as you can see, this is zero because all of these are on. If we have something like, let's say, uh, nine in here, you can see that now a one and an eight are off. This is one, this is two, this is four, this is eight, and this is 16. So we have a eight and a one, so that's nine. Okay, now this big mechanism right here, I'm not going to go in detail about because it's a little more complicated, but basically what it does is it takes our binary and turns it back into 1s and 9, 1 through 9. This portion of the build right here, all this does is it takes our uh, base 10 output and it turns it into a number on the display. Okay guys, that's pretty much all there is to this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. I've been Jaded. Have a good day.